I like my Avarex double X when I shop. Rest in peace, prodigy, 1996. Infamous mod beat. Follow me into this time machine as we explore the history of Avarex. Avarex was founded in 1975 as the brand for military apparel by Jeff Kleiman. In 1987, the company worked on reissuing of the A2 jacket for the United States Air Force. The original Avarex jacket was a brown leather jacket, looked similar to something that Tuskegee Airmen wore. And I learned about the program because of the now called Tuskegee Airmen. In the late 1980s and early 90s, the New York scene had breakdance. Hustlers. Blue Magic, that's a brand name. Like Pepsi, that's a brand name. I stand behind it, I guarantee it. And rappers. Now what you hear is not a test, I'm rapping to the beat. Most of them wore Averex jackets, from the names of Nas, the names of Biggie, even the Wu-Tang Clan. They all had on Averex jackets at some point. I remember in the DC area, I was a youngin. My cousin Think had the black on black Averex jacket with the small logo on the front left hand side that was wool and the big logo on the back that was wool. The full jacket was all leather, but the logo was wool. It was sweet, man, I loved it. I, I was begging my parents to get it for me, like I said, but whatever, it was for the ballers only. Well, we got, you know? Them jackets were so influential, man. I was born in 87, but I grew up in the 90s. I remember it, man. If you look at this movie, Belly, some of the best cinematography we had. I don't know if I said that right. Cinematography? Hopefully I said that right. Two scenes in particular, you see Nas in one scene with a white Averex jacket on when he talking to a young boy in the park. The joint was all white. It was the same exact jacket I explained that my cousin Dink had, just a different color. What up, shorty? Method Man also had a courage in the movie Belly where he showed a new colorway like a mustard color Averex jacket with the same style, Averex patch on the front, big patch on the back. Showed the versatility they was trying to go on that scene. I thought it was clean. Give me your opinion, how y'all think about that? And recently, two years ago, 2021, they did a relaunch with the likes of Roddy Rich, Lil Dirt, and no other than the legendary Nas. Damn, I used to hit the block, hoping they see me, watching video music box, sitting close to the TV. I really think it's about time for me to finally purchase my Averex jacket. I'm gonna get y'all hip to a couple pieces that they just dropped. There's the baseball varsity jacket, kind of light blue, Carolina blueish looking. Got the big A on the front. It presents as a Letterman jacket. Got the classic Averex stitching on the back, this time with a baseball diamond and two baseball bats. And if you look at the inside of that, I don't even know how to explain the inside. The inside is crazy. They also got leather hats. I feel like you gotta be special to pull that off. And they got different colorways to go with your style. They got hoodies, joggers. They also got leather baseball jerseys, similar to what Martin Lawrence wore in his classic stand-up in the 90s, You So Crazy. Sure, I'll show you, come on. Thank you all for joining me on this journey through this time machine as we explore the iconic Averex brand. Comment below, let me know where y'all wanna go next. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Hashtag UPTAF, let's get it.